In this lesson here, what I want to actually look at is how we differentiate y equals cos 2x. Let's write that down there. So y equals cos of 2x. Now, on the bottom here, I've got the graph of y equals cos x. So this is y equals cos x. And what I want to do, I'm just going to look at the gradient at various points on this curve. Now, I know that when I differentiate a function, what I'm actually looking at is the gradient at specific points along that curve. So if I look at this point here, I can see that the tangent, the gradient of that tangent is zero. So I'm just going to plot that point. Let's look at this point here. I can see the tangent, the gradient of that tangent is going to be a negative. It's negative one. So I'll plot that point. When I come down to here, again, we'll look at that gradient of this tangent. It's actually zero. So I'm back up here again. When I come to this point, we have a positive gradient. It's actually one. So we'll plot that point. And then over here, we're back to zero again. Now, if I join these points, and just a very quick curve here, what I can actually see is this is actually a reflection of the y equals sine x function. So what we've actually got here is this is y equals negative sine x. So what that tells us is that when we differentiate y equals cos x, we actually get y equals negative sine x. That helps us with this question here. Now I'm going to differentiate this using the chain rule. So I'm going to say let u equal 2x. Differentiate that, so I get du by dx is equal to 2. Now using this substitution here, I know that y is now equal to cos u and dy by du, just differentiating this, is going to be Using this rule here, I'm going to get negative sine of u. Now I want dy by dx, and using the chain rule, dy by dx is dy by du multiplied by du by dx. dy by du, well that's negative sine u, and we're multiplying that by du by dx, which is the 2. So what I've got here is negative 2 sine, and the u, well, the u is 2x, so we get 2x. So differentiating y equals cos 2x, we get negative 2 sine 2x.